Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'd like to showcase Neo4j's memory MCP server. Okay, so this is gonna be a mouthful today. I'm gonna to showcase this particular MCP server, which is a near drop-in replacement for Anthropic's own Knowledge Graph memory MCP server. Both servers have nine tools. They're almost exactly the same. The only difference is in the Neo4j server, we have one function called find nodes, and that maps to Anthropic's version, which is called open nodes. Other than that, the two servers have exactly the same schema. What this server does is it allows a tool to have basically long-term conversational memory without having to fill up a context window with an entire chat history. There are three components to this. One is creating entities. So these are basically nouns. So it'll create uh, nodes for a person, place, or thing. And also observations. Observations are facts about those entities. And then the last bit are relationships. It will attempt to connect relations between different entities and maybe sometimes with observations if they're um, extracted out. I've already done previous videos on how to install MCP servers on both Cursor and Claude. So today I'm just gonna stack on top of that and show how you add the memory server to it and configure it so that memory is running basically continuously. Okay, so let's jump into Claude first. So I've already set up the MCP servers in the background using the developer tab and editing the config.json file. So this is the configuration for accessing a local Neo4j instance using Neo4j desktop. Now, so this will work out the gate, uh, but again, I'll have to explicitly ask Claude to remember or to pull information from this knowledge graph or this memory tool. So to get around it and just ask Claude to always do this is you go up to settings and you go up to general tab and click on Claude settings and configure. Here, there is a section under profile for what personal preferences should Claude consider in response. Now, Anthropic themselves in their own memory server repo, if you're in here and you scroll down toward the bottom, they have a essentially a personalization prompt. And this personalization user prompt, when added, will instruct Claude or any AI tool to make use of this, this memory tool. Okay, so we're just gonna copy this and insert this into Claude, oh, which I've already done here. So this is already saved. So now, if I were to go and just chat with Claude, it should make use of the memory server uh, by default. So let's just mention, um, uh, I really like using fast API and I'm half decent at writing, oops, not writing English, Python code. So this is a fact about myself. Hopefully it will, yes, it does realize that uh, this is some information about uh, who it's talking with that it should maintain. So it checked the knowledge graph to see if there was any existing information on me as a user, but it didn't actually write it down. So here, I'm gonna just try and prompt it to kind of force it to remember. Um, one of my good friends is building a project using Neo4j and Wev8. Okay, so this is good. So Claude went and read the graph, which has nothing in it at this point, but decided to create some entities and relationships with that data. So we can go back to the database and take a look and see that it did create uh, some information about the user, myself. So I like to use FastAPI, uh, decent at Python, and friend who is building a project using Wev8 and connected us as friends. So this is the start of, of a knowledge graph. What I'm gonna do next is jump over to Cursor. And here I've already got the same MCP configuration added. Now to get the same sort of uh, protocol where Cursor is just using memory um, by default, you can make that happen by going up to Cursor's settings 
And if you click on the rule section here under user rules, this is where you would paste the same instructions from uh, Anthropic, the system prompt, or your own version of the system prompt, and paste it here. It should autosave. If I go and ask cursor, build a hello world application for my friend. Okay, so here it made use of fast API. No, oh, got right into it. Just started up that server. Okay, great. Close and modify this app to use the databases my friend is interested in. Sweet. So recognize that we want to use, or he wants to use Neo4j and Wev8. So pulled that out of the graph. I don't see Wev8 configuration here, but. Anyways, okay, so this was a super fast introduction to Neo4j's memory MCP server. This is uh, one example, and I hope uh, it's useful for you. So anyways, my name is Jason Koo. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next one.